Hey, everybody, and welcome to today's spiritual practice uh, with Plymouth Congregational Church in Fort Collins, Colorado. You can probably hear Oberon crying in the background. That is my furry companion who gets upset when I talk to anybody but him. But most importantly, today, Carla Kane is here. Um, and she is going to share with us a little bit about her personal spiritual practice. Um, so, Carla, thank you for making the time to join us today. Uh, let's just dig right in. Um, what okay. spiritual practice have you found meaningful in your life these days? Oh my gosh. Um, I've done a lot of different spiritual practices. Some of them uh, crazy and some of them wonderful. But currently, so every morning I read a devotional and that varies from an online devotional to um, books that I have and they sort of rotate in and out. And, um, I buy lots of books too. So yeah. Uh, so that's that. part of my spiritual practice. But uh, I also have a spiritual practice of. Uh, uh, sorry, hope he's not distracting me. I just want to comfort her, comfort him. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> you keep talking. <laughs> okay. I think I think Obi's gonna go inside right now. So another spiritual practice that I have is um, three gratitudes every night. So did you hear that, Mandy? I did, actually. Three gratitudes every night. Yeah, so I, three gratitudes every night. And it's not just I'm grateful for beautiful weather or for, uh, the, for the things that the gifts that God has given me or things like that. It's about three gratitudes growing going deeper into each of those gratitudes and why. And um, yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. So I'm gonna skip ahead then to our last question and then we'll circle back around to the first. But uh, what's one thing that you're grateful okay. for <laughs> right now or today? Wow. Well, so to, so um, uh, probably y'all may know this or may not. Um, I went back to Iowa for the first time last week since moving to Fort Collins. And I was just really, really grateful to be there. Um, and I was really grateful to come back too. Uh, but just, just really grateful that um, I really believe in this strong call to come to, to Fort Collins and to be here in and grateful for the abundance of having my Des Moines life that that really prepared me for coming to Fort Collins so grateful for abundance too that's amazing thank you um yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm speak grateful for, for one thing. I'm grateful, for, grateful for you Grateful that God called you to us because yeah. you have been truly a joy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Strong, strong, strong call. That's incredible. Our last question yeah. is how have okay. you seen God lately? Um you know, I think it's in um, in that abundance. John ten ten is one of my favorite Bible verses, and um, it, that is about abundance. And even when things are crappy right now um, in our world, I'm grateful for uh, for the abundance that God provides us, and the abundance for us to learn as as people of God to learn and to grow in, in that love. Um, and even though it, you know, like I said, even though it is kind of a crappy time, God is there and, and uh, that's really meaningful. Hmm. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's, I truly feel that God is here with us in the midst of this really challenging time um, and helping us to grow and learn in new ways. So thank you for sharing that. Um, well, I think 
I don't have any other questions for you. <laughs> Spiritual practice check-ins can know, be I short. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I, you know, I just, I've just had to define spiritual practice for a long time, and, um, and that's in gratitude and abundance. Mm. So, what else is there to say other than God is good? All the time, all the time, God all is good. Time. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm, I'm so grateful for that. Um, yeah, I think. What I am learning, uh, the more I interact with folks and the more I talk about spiritual practices, the more I'm learning that there are so many different and unique ways to tend to one's soul. And that's really what it's all about. So, yeah. Thank you. Um, I think that's it for today. I know you have a meeting to get to. Um, I'm just going to share one more time this little picture because this was um, sort of my, nope, that's not a great way. Nope, not really a lot of good ways to share this. But this was a sunset that I got to see last night and I just feel like I needed to share that picture one more time. Uh, oh, I'm here with you. <laughs> it's just... Well, I wish I were there with you. Right? Oh, it's so beautiful. So, um God shows up in nature, in an abundance, and in love uh, between um, many people. So um, thank you, Carla, for coming on. Uh, the rest of you, if you would like to ever join me for one of these spiritual practice check-ins, they can be long, they can be short, they can be profound, they can be silly, but we would love to hear from you how you are tending to your soul, uh, how you see God and what you are grateful for uh, in this time of COVID. Um, but Carla's got a meeting, so I'm yeah. going to let her go. <laughs> and okay. um, yeah, thank you all. Have a great day. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.